Hello folks and good day. Andy here with Pop Yachts. Looking at a nice navy blue 2005 Sea Ray 300 Sun Dancer. Powered by Mercruisers 5 liter MPIs. Those are paired with Bravo 3 outdrives. Plenty of power and torque with increased fuel efficiency with the duo prop design. Extended swim platform. Hideaway swim ladder. Beautiful navy blue gel coat. Radar arch has an antenna. The trailer it's sitting on is the shop, so it was just transported down from the northeast. Radar antenna stored inside. Bottom paint looks good. No damage along the keel. Really sharp blue color. Remote operated anchor windlass and spotlight are forward. You can see the nice wide beam carries all the way inside open up that interior while not losing any cockpit space too. Sea Ray has a huge following and there's a reason for that. I do want to point out a little dock scuff. Looks like some gel coat would top that off. I don't see any exposed fiberglass. It's all been resealed with a clear coat it looks like. Let me climb up this ladder check out inside. Great deck layout, plenty of seating, storage at the transom, shore power connections, wash down, hot and cold water shower as well. Great for rinsing off once you're out of the water. Nice wide transom bench, two rod holders for those fishing days. There's some storage underneath this rear facing seat. Just some dust from the storage lot, upholstery looks good, nice and soft. I don't see any tears anywhere. Extra wide captain's bench, dual flip up thigh ride bolsters. You got Raymarine C70 radar setup. Accessory buttons and switches right where you need them. Trim tab controls, anchor windlass, and then the remote control for the spotlight forward. Nice clear gauges and smooth throttles and shifters as well. Great bow layout, nice stainless steel railing all the way around. Moving down into the main cabin, three steps, carpeted throughout. Perfect layout, huge sleeping area forward, starboard lounger. This pulls out and creates a single berth, also slides away. And then you got storage under both sides. You can see the radar antenna and table as well in the rear cabin. That filler cushion pulls out if you want to have a nice lounge area too. Storage back there and all your breaker switches and Clarion stereo with a CD changer too. Plenty of storage up top. Nice accent lightings all the way throughout. Headliner looks good and natural lighting with the two top portholes, then you got this forward hatch which has a sunshade or a bug screen. Nice clean forward berth, starboard hanging locker, good size on it, privacy curtain, pulls all the way forward in case you feel like sleeping in. TV pulls out and swivels to the rear and forward depending if you're wanting to watch it from main seating area or the forward berth. Great galley design, above and below storage, refrigeration on a 12 volt system, or it links into the shore power, microwave, deep basin sink, hot and cold water, and then a two burner stove top. Onboard head, features a vacuum flush system, simple foot pedal operation on that. The sink doubles as a shower, hot and cold water, Got nice lighting and a vent window as well with some additional storage. Let me go ahead and open up the engine hatch, take a look inside. All right, looking at Merc Cruisers 5 liter MPIs, newer batteries, onboard Kohler 5kW generator, just over 400 hours on it. Newer risers and manifolds, 
port engine has a new alternator as well. Got the vacuum flush system. Everything's labeled nicely. Forward and rear bilge lights, and then your water heater's over there to starboard. Nice overall condition. Onboard battery charger too. Make sure you check out all the high resolution photos we've got on popyachts.com. My name's Andy, give me a call today. Happy to answer any other questions you have. Love to meet you in person, show you around the 300 Sundancer. Let's get you out on the open water and having fun. Talk to you soon.